With the Perth Fashion Festival in full swing, one of the biggest names in fashion has made some blunt observations about the industry. Liz Davenport had a quick word with Tens Nick Way. Well, fashion festivals at full tilt and Perth's queen of classic design is back home. Liz Davenport putting the finishing touches on her latest collection. Now, we could say it was the latest collection, but in actual fact, part of it is, and part of it is retrospective, so some of the garments go back to 1976, which was the beginning of my fashion career. So how healthy is the Australian fashion industry today? Well, let's take out the word, the word fashion, and let's ask the question, how healthy is industry today? and industry in our country today is not healthy. We have a productivity issue. Now, speaking of Aussies, what are the most common fashion mistakes we make? Um, <laughs> depends on who's making the mistake. I mean, thong, rubber thongs on the feet are pretty bad, but then if somebody amazing wore the, the rubber thongs, they would look OK. But you say some of those women feel absolute failures if they're over a size 12. What do you mean then? I mean that we are given a diet of what I call the beautiful freaks. And I can tell you that when I put on a pair of Elle McPherson underwear, it didn't make any difference to the shape of my body. So therefore, uh, we can never be what is thrust upon us in a daily diet of media. Most people can never achieve that. With that comes a feeling of inadequacy, lack of self-esteem for a lot of people, and you, then you have a finding people without confidence, and if you can get your clothes right, they are 80% of your appearance. Who's your pick of the best dressed women in Australia? Oh, well, I just absolutely adore um, Quentin Bryce. I just think she's the most wonderful woman. If you're going to be successful in business, you simply have to be creating or making something that people want. And too often, designers are led down the path of making things that they think the media wants or they think is a hype and it's going to create a lot of attention. But in actual fact, the person, the real person in the street, finds it difficult uh, to relate to that. So my, my secret to success really is find the unmet want and supply the demand. Liz Davenport, thanks for having a quick word. Thank you.